If you ask me, Ross Martin is one of the most luxurious sounding names for a gun company I think I've ever heard. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about the name of their sub $450 9mm striker fired handgun that's slightly smaller than a Glock 19 with a 17 round capacity that they call the RM1C. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with the name of the gun. It just feels a little technical compared to the images of luxury that the name Ross Martin induces. But none of this really matters because the gun itself looks as smooth as the name of the company sounds. My favorite part is the nitro carburized steel slide. In the sunlight, the satin black finish looks incredible, especially when the sunlight hits it just perfect. However, those with a more discerning eye will see an Eric's Delta M whose hard edges have been rounded, which is a good thing to me because I like the way that the Eric's Delta M looks, but the Ross Martin RM1C has a more refined look that my eye finds more pleasing. But if someone said they preferred the looks of the Eric's Delta M, I wouldn't be shocked any more than someone saying that they thought Zendaya was more attractive than Tyla. I just disagree. Granted, I can't stand Tyla's accent. Like insane. Let me not say, but just know it's very insane. Speaking of things I can't stand, I don't care much for how the trigger on the RM1C looks. Overall, I think the RM1C looks and feels like a $600 gun, but the way the trigger looks kind of exposes its $450 price tag. It doesn't make me like the gun any less the same way Tyler's annoying South African, South Asian, and British accent mix doesn't make her any less attractive. That's, yeah. <laughs> Just eh, ever so slightly annoying. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. When it comes to features, the RM1C has them in spades. Want to mount a red dot? It has it. Want a rail for a light? It has it. Want interchangeable back straps? It has it. Want ambidextrous controls? It has it. High quality iron sights, it has it. It even has a cocking indicator on the back of the gun that lets you know if the gun is cocked or not. If you like press checking your gun from the front, slide serrations are deep and grabby enough to make front press checking effortless. Someone could argue the grip texture isn't the most aggressive, but this is meant to be a carry gun. You always have to split the baby with grip texture on a carry gun, unless you're a concealed carry masochist who loves dry exfoliating their stomach while they carry. I'm not one of those people and you shouldn't be either. It's just weird. When I did my first mag video on the RM1C, I thought the way it felt in my hands was good. But in the four months since that video, I've replaced the medium backstrap to the large backstrap, and man, the ergonomics on this gun went from good to really good. The large backstrap's increased hump gives me more leverage to mitigate the gun's recoil. So, if you get this gun, do yourself a favor and play around with the different backstrap sizes. You might be surprised how much of a difference it makes in the ergonomics department. Earlier I talked about how I wasn't a fan of how the trigger on the RM1C looked, but I am a fan of how it feels. The RM1C trigger has a large landing pad with a little safety blade, which I like from a comfort standpoint. The personality of the trigger is like a finely tuned staple gun. The take up snaps to the wall of the trigger quickly and the wall is solid. So the chances of you breaking the shot before you want isn't exactly that high. The trigger brake is crisp and the reset is slightly pushy, but you only notice if you're riding the reset. Again, in my first mag video, I said the RM1C felt a tad snappier than the Glock 19. Take the recoil of a Glock 19 and bump it up ever so slightly which makes sense because it weighs less than a Glock 19 and is smaller than a Glock 19. But unless you're extremely sensitive to recoil, it won't be a big issue. The RM1C is a fast shooter. Mag dumping or doing a build drill from concealment, the gun is definitely a runner and a track star. And if there's one thing I love, it's a fast gun. Going back to the trigger though, I do really love how wide the face of the trigger is. Something about it helps me better measure exactly when the trigger was going to break and made slacking out under recoil that much easier. Changing the back strap to the large size did change my natural point of aim a little bit. However, once I made that adjustment and got used to it, the gun felt as natural as it did when I first shot it with the medium grip. That's what I think the RM1C is doing here, trying to make a $450 gun feel like more. At $450, 
and below, there's really no way you're gonna get the exact same feel as a $700 gun. But the Ross Martin gets damn close enough that someone who only has $450 to spend on an RM1C is gonna be proud of it and not counting down the days until they can get enough money to trade up for a more expensive gun. Because the RM1C is a damn good gun and not just for the price, but just in general. Oh, and a couple of things I forgot to mention. For those of you out in California, Ross Martin is currently undergoing the process to get their guns added to the California roster, so thank them later. And for those of you who want to try the RM1C before you buy it, you can do just that with Ross Martin's Try It Before You Buy It program, essentially. <laughs> Call your local gun range or gun shop that has a range and ask them if they are part of this program, and you'll get to try the RM1C before you actually buy it. One thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.